This is the news for Monday, September 25th. I'm Kevin Olenek. The B.C. Liberal leadership race heated up today as former Education Minister Mike Bernier and Andrew Wilkinson announced they will enter the race. Both responded to Todd Stone's comment this weekend that refused taxpayer subsidies contained in the NDP Corporates and Union Donation Ban. Bernier said he did not support that part of the bill, but supported the ban of union and corporate donations. Meanwhile, Wilkinson did not make a commitment. South Story MP Diane Watts, former Vancouver Mayor Sam Sullivan, and Terrence, Terrace businesswoman Lucy Sager has also entered the race. Another MLA, Michael Lee, is expected to announce his run t- on Tuesday. Several people have been arrested in connection with a pair of weekend shootings that targeted the same home in South Surrey. Shots were fired twice at a property on 30th Avenue near 147th Street, first on Saturday and then again on Sunday. Mounty said their investigation into attacks led officers to a property in White Rock where they took five people into custody and seized three vehicles. The RCMP are now trying to get a search warrant for the White Rock property and to trying to determine if those shootings are connected to a third that sent bullets flying at another home in the, in the city. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Surrey RCMP or Crime Stoppers. Ahead of the legalization of pot this summer, the province is carrying out a public consultation process on how recreational pot should be regulated. Uh, they want you to share your thoughts on an online survey that, until November 1st, it also will be coming a random, conducting a random phone survey. And North Korea's top diplomat said that a weekend tweet by U.S. President Donald Trump was a declaration of war. Foreign Minister Ron Young-ho told reporters that by tweeting that North Korea's leadership led by Kim Jong-un won't be around much longer, Trump declared the war on our country. In sports, Dak Prescott to, threw two touchdown passes and ran for another as the Dallas Cowboys pulled away in the fourth quarter to beat the Arizona Cardinals 28-17 in Monday Night Football. Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, a staunch supporter of President Trump, kneeled with his players during the national anthem. And in chill preseason action, the top rookies of last year were the stars of the night. Austin Matthews scored a hat-trick, the Leafs beat the Habs 5-1, and Patrick Laine scored two goals and three assists as the Jets beat the Flames 5-2. The Flames are in Vancouver to play the Canucks on Thursday. Other Canadian teams in action, the Oilers lost, they lost to Carolina 6-2. Aaron Judge has broken Mark McGuire's major league record for home runs by a rookie, going deep twice to raise his total to 50. The Yankee slugger hit a two-run drive to right center in the third and a solo shot in the seventh against the Kansas City Royals. Vancouver weather, it's fall, but it feels like summer. Mainly sunny and 19 on Tuesday, and it's going to get a little bit hotter midweek. 22 on Wednesday and 25 on Thursday. That is the news, weather, and sports for Monday, September 25th. Go to soundcloud.com, K-E-V-O-L-E, or speaker.com, K-E-V-O-L-E, for more. I'm Kevin Olenek.